Welcome to this Windows channel and this is part 3 of clean installing Windows 10 creators update. So you created a boot media DVD USB. You've been able to boot from it on your PC and you're here. So what do you do? Of course you will choose the language to install, the time and currency format and the keyboard method. In the United States this is pretty much standard but depending on where you live you might want to change one of these. Of course, if you don't change it now, you can change it later in Windows, so it isn't that important right now. So, next, here we go. Of course, you've got to repair your computer. That will take a look eventually, because it uh, is very useful to know that you can actually uh, use different tools from within your boot media uh, to fix your computer. Sometimes it is needed. So for now, we'll click the Install Now button. So this is going to start the setup process, but we will have a few more things that we'll want to do on the computer. For example, make sure the hard drives is um, you know partitioned correctly. Make sure the hard drive is formatted correctly. If it's a new hard drive, of course, you'll want to initialize it and format it before you go and install Windows 10. So here, some of you might, if you have a specific copy of Windows, have a product key to enter. If you don't have a product key, of course, just skip this process by going down right to I don't have a product key. Remember, if your computer came with Windows 10 at some point, it is digitally signed. That means it will recognize that you have a Windows 10 um, working computer that it's going to activate by itself. Uh, usually, if you already you know got the free version of Windows 10, just say I don't have a product key and click you know continue here. So here we go. Now here's the thing: you have to choose a version of Windows 10 here. Of course, you'll choose the same exact version that your computer had. So you got to know what version your computer needs to get in order to install. Of course, the PC I'm using right now was on home. So I need to choose home. Don't try to choose any other uh, version. And the reason why, it won't activate. If your computer is digitally signed with a home version and you try to install the Pro version, you're not going to have activation because it's not the same version. So make sure that you get the latest on this. So here is home and I will of course continue next. So as you click the next button you will be sent of course to another little part. That's very important. You need to ex accept the license terms and of course once again click the next button. Now here is the thing. Two things can happen from here. You can upgrade that means if you have Windows 10 right now and you just want to upgrade by keeping stuff, keeping your settings, your applications and all, you can click the upgrade and this will upgrade this your version of Windows and explain to you how it works. But here we want a clean install. So what we want to do is custom install Windows only. And here are the hard drive and partitions. What I recommend when you want to really do something drastic, really, really uh, make a brand new install of Windows 10 is delete all the partitions that you see. Now if you are installing on a computer that has several partitions that have data on them, of course you will not want to delete all the partitions. So just want to delete and recreate the partition, the main partition for Windows not touch the other ones because you will lose everything if you do. But in a clean install that you have absolutely nothing you want to keep, so all you have to do is click each partition, click the delete button and click OK. I have another one here says logical 3.9 gigabyte. I will also delete this one and click OK. And now I'll have just one drive that I need to create a new drive from. So I'll have the new button here and I'll click apply. Click OK. Make sure to be careful because this is a problem. This is erasing everything. You will not be able to 
recreate anything, um, you know, get any information back by doing this. Okay, now you see that I've created two things. A system reserved 500 megabytes. It could vary slightly depending on your machine. Don't touch that at all. Leave it like that. But the second one, which is your main drive here is 297.6 gigabytes. You'll click the format button and OK to format so that it's ready to receive the Windows files. And then from here, you'll click the next button. And here you are at the part where it's going to be probably the longest of all parts, being copying the files, copying the installation files, installing the features and the updates and finishing up. Let it do that. Now, depending on the computer you have and the media you choose, DVD or USB, this can go from um, you know, on a fast computer with SSD and USB install at 30 minutes, even less, to on a more older system with regular hard drive and from DVD, easily an hour and a half to two hours at the most. But it rarely takes more than about one or two hours to install Windows from scratch like this. Usually, you'll have an install in roughly an hour for most cases. Uh, and uh, two hours is really a, the, the, the tops of the tops for the slowest machines uh, that you will install on. So once you're here, of course, just continue, let it do its job. This is a pretty uh, autonomous system from now. Uh, you know, sometimes people say, oh, maybe you installed Windows wrong. You can't really, because you have no input, nothing you can do in that install. It's pretty much automatic from Windows itself. So if you're here now, well, you can tell you one thing, you're probably done the hardest part of all in the Windows operating system installed of Windows 10 Creators Update. And of course, we will continue showing you that in part four, where we'll see what is left and how to set it up and install to end the install. Part four is pretty much the end of installing uh, Windows 10 Creators Update. So as you see, it isn't that hard. It is just that you need to understand the basics of how to do it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Hope you enjoy this series on clean install of Windows 10.